Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Le Tuto Du Vito. I am your English teacher. I'm here to help you improve your English and be more confident. And of course you can, no problem. I'm here to help. In today's lesson, I am going to teach you how to express your opinion, to say if you agree or don't agree, and basically to say what you think. So this can be very helpful if you write an essay, maybe if you take your baccalaureate, or um, even when you speak, you have a conversation with someone, chances are that you will have to say what you think, right? So, if you're ready, I'm ready, let's dive into it. Okay, so we are going to start with nothing too personal, but rather a general point of view. Here are four expressions that you can use, for example, when you write an essay. So number one is um, everybody knows that. Everybody knows that. Number two, most people think that. Most people think that. Number three, it's often said that. And the one that I prefer is it is generally accepted that. It's generally accepted that. So, um, use those expressions when you write an essay, when you want to start a point that is widely accepted. Okay, let's, let me take an example. Um, phones should not be allowed in class. Uh, you could say, um, most people think that phones should not be used in class. Or you could say, it is widely accepted, it is generally accepted that phones should not be allowed in class, okay? It works perfectly and it helps you share an opinion with a majority of people. Now, second part, we're going to deal with a personal opinion personal opinion that you would like to express in a written form. So perhaps the most famous uh, expression is I think. Everybody knows. I think. I think that phones should not be allowed in class. Well, in my opinion, I think is overused. And I believe that you should probably try to expand, I think. Expand means to add words before or after and that will make the expression I think more powerful and probably richer. Let me explain. You could say instead of I think, you could say I honestly think. I honestly think that blah blah blah. Or you could add in fact. Uh, in fact, comma, I think that phones shouldn't be allowed in class. Or even, um, I tend to think that. I tend to think that phones should not be allowed in class. And that is a great way to expand the expression I think. Um, another way of saying I think is to say I believe. It's equivalent. I believe that or I think that. Great. Or you can add and expand I believe. Sometimes people use I strongly believe that. It's a little bit more powerful. I strongly believe that phones shouldn't be allowed in class. Now there are two other verbs that are quite, quite similar to I think. So you've got I think, I believe, I suppose and I guess. Um, I suppose and I guess are probably weaker, they are not as strong 
as I think or I believe, but they are very useful. I guess phones shouldn't be allowed. You are probably not so sure, but this is your opinion. I suppose. I suppose. I guess. Now, I'm going to give you a list of six different expressions uh, that you can also use in a written exam or uh, in an essay. One that I really like is it seems that. It seems that, number two, as far as I'm concerned, now you're expressing your true personal opinion, as far as I'm concerned, um, from my perspective, from my perspective, in my opinion, in my view, in my experience, or even to me. To me, phones shouldn't be allowed in class. In my experience. Or you could say, the way I see it. The way I see it is that da 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 da. Okay, now we're done with the written form. Now let's talk about the oral. How could you express your opinion in a conversation? Well, there are a few expressions that you can use. Okay, here is another statement. New technologies make our lives easier. Hmm, do you agree? Maybe, maybe not. So, if you want to express your opinion on that statement, you could say, well, to be honest, I think da 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 da. If you ask me, technologies make life much easier. Personally speaking, I think new technologies make our life more stressful. I reckon there should be an age limit to mobile phones. Okay, so you've got different ways of expressing ideas, okay? Now, let me give you a tip. I noticed, in my experience, that lots of uh, English native speakers, when they speak, like to reinforce their ideas, to clarify their opinion. There is an easy way to do this. Listen, what I'm trying to suggest here is that phones should be banned at school. I guess that what I'm trying to say is that phones should be allowed in class. What I mean is that new technologies help us a lot. All I'm saying is that phones are great learning devices. Okay, so you are trying to reinforce your idea to clarify your opinion and it really helps you get your message, your message through, okay? Now, do you agree or disagree? Here is another statement. French students should wear a uniform. What do you think? This is an old debate. Everyone has their personal opinion about this subject. What do you think? Do you agree? Or do you disagree? Here are a few expressions to express agreement. So, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. You can say definitely, definitely, or exactly, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. I feel the same. I feel the same. That's a good point. Oh, there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Can you repeat that one? There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Oh, tell me about it. Tell me about it. I agree with you a hundred percent. This is a little informal, but I really like that one. I agree with you a hundred percent. Now, if you don't agree, if you don't agree, well, you should say so. Here are other expressions to express disagreement. And I'm going to go, uh, and I'm going from partially agree to total disagreement. So, if you partially agree with uh, someone, you could say, 
I see your point, but to a certain extent, I agree. However, blah, blah, blah. Well, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. I don't think so. This is not entirely true. This is not entirely true. Now, if you disagree, you say, I disagree. I totally disagree with you. I think you're wrong. This, <laughs> this is very blunt. I think you're wrong. And now if you get really upset, you can say, that's nonsense or just nonsense. Now you're starting to boil. Uh, that's rubbish. That's totally rubbish. Rubbish. That, that. I don't even want to talk about this. Oh, now you're getting nervous. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope this was useful. The idea in this episode was to give you a wide range of expressions. What um, I would suggest is that you pick like three or four different expressions that you like that suit your needs and you try to remember them, you, you repeat them as much as you can and uh, you write them down, you memorize and then you will be able to use them in your essay or in your conversation. So thank you so much for watching. That was Mito trying to teach you English. I hope you liked it. Leave a thumbs up, consider subscribing and um, I'll see you around. Bye. Cheers.